Hello, James. Hello, Lovely to see you again. You're right. Yeah. Wow, I want to show you guys James's workshop. This is just absolutely bonkers. James makes jet engines um, for a hobby amongst many, many other things. Uh, but James has a most epic workshop. So wanted to just quickly run around some of the really cool kit that he's got in his workshop. Um, and some of the projects that you're sort of working on at the moment. In fact, here's one right here. I believe that's a tricopter? A tricopter it is, which is a sort of slightly unusual arrangement. Uh, that was uh, something I actually put together probably about 15, 20 years ago. Really? That long uh, ago? Yeah. It's, that's it, like the it, early days of very, quadcopters, very isn't it? Very, very early days. Uh, very was, cool. It was originally gyroscope and now it's obviously got uh, three axis um, uh, sensing on it, so it's, of, uh, it's been upgraded and upgraded and upgraded, so now it's a lot easier to fly. Very cool, very <laughs> cool. And, and what's this here? Now this is actually um, called a VTOL. So uh, vertical takeoff and land. land. Yes, so basically it's, uh, it is actually technically commercially available, uh, there are a few of them around, um, and this one acts just like a quadcopter in as much as you actually change the speed uh, of, of the four rotors to uh, go through the yaw side to side uh, and again for the roll uh, but for pitch uh, instead of actually again changing the motor speed we actually rotate all the pods forwards and backwards which is uh, enables it just to go into forward flight, fly like an aeroplane, and when you f pull it back again and just land vertically again. So yeah, uh, superb. So you don't need a you don't need a take off and landing strip no, with this. No. You can take off like a quadcopter, yeah. but probably fly faster than a quadcopter. A lot faster. Yeah. Than a quadcopter. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. this is the thing that people have really come to see. Well, certainly some of the stuff that I am absolutely in love with. And and these are your jet engines that, that you make. You've sort of got like um a doctor's surgery for jet engines in for here. Jet engines and it. Yes, yeah, so you've got other people people's jet engines in here that you're doing a little bit of um, bit of work to to, 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 bring to, them to help them out, up, bring them yeah. up to current levels, yes. Yeah. Um, but we'll fire up a jet engine in a little while. Um, if you haven't seen James's jet engine videos before, they're on the channel, you're more than welcome to go and check them out. So let's have a look around some of the <laughs> kit that you've got in your in your shop then. Okay, well actually Immediately on the bench in front of you, we've got uh, the first piece of kit, which is most useful. It's the balancer, and you can see that there is actually a rotor set sitting on the balance here, a compressor, shaft, and turbine at the back. And we obviously need to balance these rotors because, I mean, that particular rotor, as an example, at full power, uh, is actually rotating at 160,000 RPM. <laughs> Uh, so you can probably imagine that uh, if that is out of balance... A small balance um, problem will shake itself to death. And, it won't yeah, do it yeah, any, any good, good at all. <laughs> uh, so yeah. what we try to do with equipment like this, uh, we're able to actually balance uh, to a level better than 0 0.05 of a gram per centimetre. So I'm, I'm looking at it from here and I can't see it. I need to get my glasses on. Yeah. But what are the sensors that are connected to okay. the piezo quartz? They, oh, they are, okay, they're piezo, yeah, 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 piezo yeah, quartz yeah, sensors. Yeah, yeah. And then um, in, in there then I guess you've got some kind of a H-bridge to amplify them. Yeah, and, amplify it out yeah. and also okay. send part of the signal can go to the computer so we can actually observe on the computer. Right, exactly. so you can plot, yeah. Yeah, plot, plot what's, plot what's going on. Right, okay. Um, or we can use it manually by using a stroboscope and we can actually do the same job as the computer but on a manual basis just using uh, the strobe which obviously is half wave rectifier, it makes the stroboscope fire every revolution. Okay. So it makes the whole shaft, looks like it's static. Yes. So yes. you can then see yeah where the heavy spot is. A bit like the old strobe that you would have in your car exactly. and you connect it timing. to the, to the yeah. timing, yeah, to the, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah fantastic. Yeah. And then you've got some really sort of normal tools in here, which a lot yeah. of people probably wouldn't have in their workshops. If they have, it's very lucky that you do. For instance, over in the corner, there's a wonderful Myford lathe 
uh, and a pillar drill and a band saw and um, and a circular desk saw bench saw um, and, and and then you've got a CNC mill yeah fantastic yeah. Um, and 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 so many other bits and bobs in here 3d printers and yeah, mate, this is this is like um, this is a, a workshop that, that I've instantly fallen in love with. I absolutely love it. Yeah, bench grinders. Yeah. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Probably the one thing that actually I have, which I actually love, but most people won't have that blue. What looks like a blue tank and, and, and the controller next to it. it looks like an ultrasonic cleaning tank from here, but it's got stages. So so is that uh, is that a little. A little, another little mill? It's an EDM. It's an EDM machine? It's a spark eroder. Yeah, 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 fantastic. The only time I've ever seen one of those used is yeah. to remove a screw from from the inside yeah, of which a, is sheared. Yeah, or, exactly. Or a tap that's yeah, sheared. Yeah, tap yeah, that's no, sheared. Yeah, I think it was a tap, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah, which is quite a common use, but... Brilliant. Well, thanks ever so much for showing us around okay. your workshop, yeah. mate. This is absolutely magnificent. Really, really, really cool place. Loved it. Absolutely, some epic projects <laughs> going on here, guys. James. <laughs> and most people use these for food. <laughs> yeah, they're full of nuts and bolts and screws and washers. and You've got a really well-organised workshop, mate. It's beautiful. This is one of James's experimental rigs for testing the jet engines that he's made. Here's a cutaway of one of those jet engines. So James, give us a bit of a talk through. How does this engine work? Okay, it's uh, really relatively simple. The rotor spins, sucks air in. This is like a little wing or propeller. Sucks air in, comes up out of the side of the wheel, through a diffuser, into this case where the combustion chamber is. All that air is heated up by a flame inside this combustion chamber, which is just in this area of the combustion chamber. The fuel and air mix down these tubes, heats up the air, it expands, comes out through the guide vanes into the turbine and out the back end. The turbine is only there to take energy from that fast hot gas and that just uh, drives the compressor and all the hot air and gas coming out from the turbine is what propels the engine along, whether it be on an aeroplane or any other vehicle. So a fun fact from James here. Now, does anyone know what this blade might be from? Well, I guessed it was a uh, RB199, which is an English tornado. Tornado engine. Yeah. Uh, interestingly enough, if you look at the angle of the blade, it would rotate in that direction. Whereas an English jet engine blade always tend to rotate that way. This would suggest this is actually from an American engine, so, not an English engine. So this is the fun fact, is American jet engines and English jet engines rotate in opposite directions. Direction. That's quite intriguing. I didn't know that. That's quite cool. Thanks, James. Okay. It's been an education. <laughs>